Thank you for joining us today. Uh, my name is Evan, and this is our Vice President, Frank. And Hi, our, everybody. Our company is Touchstone Home Products, and we're excited for the opportunity to share with you some of our newest products. Uh, on top here, you see the uh, Sideline Elite fireplace in the 50-inch, and below it is our Fury fireplace that is just recently introduced. Uh, just a little bit about us, um, Touchstone's located in Exton, Pennsylvania, where we design, uh, service, and distribute all of our products. And um, <clears throat> our goal is always to strive to uh, provide high-end products for unbelievable value um, and the customer service to back it up. Um, so let's get started here with the uh, Sideline Elite. A uh, little bit about the Elite Series. Uh, right now we have it in a 50-inch that you see here, a 60 inch, a 72 inch, and in December we'll have a 42 inch. Um, you can see here, uh, we took a lot of our customers feedback over the years with our popular sideline model. And some of the biggest changes that you'll see with the Elite is the uh, wide frame, a very small border that you see around it. Um, and the extra flame colors, uh, we'll actually cycle through them here. Um, it has 10 media bed colors and six flame colors. You can see the different flame colors here. Uh, there's white, orange, and blue, and then a few of the combinations. And the uh, bed color that you can change. And you can also put it on a setting where it cycles through on its own. Um, some of the other nice features with the Elite that we've added, uh, you, it's compatible with a light switch. So you can put it on, on a light switch to turn it on and off to operate. Um, and you can also program it to uh, a smart plug to operate. So for instance, if you turn it off and you turn it back on and give it power, it will go right back onto the light setting that it was on last. Um, one of the upgrades that we have with it as well is uh, three speeds for the flame. That's the fast one there. That's the slow, uh, slow mode. And it also has a sleep timer in half hour increments all the way up to eight hours. Um, we also offer uh, for this one that's new from our sideline driftwood that can go on the crystal or you can just have the crystal media. Um, and it also comes with a full log set, like our sideline. And uh, some of the uh, other features that's really popular with electric versus other options like gas and wood burning is this is all safe to the touch. It's all LED technology and you don't have to operate the heat. So you can have just the lights on. And um, when you want to have the heat, you can turn that on. And it comes in a high and a low heat setting. Um, and the Elite series also has a thermostat. Uh, that you can set so it'll turn on and it'll turn off once the room reaches that temperature. Um, most people will be recessing this unit but it does come with a wall mount bracket uh, so you can simply just wall mount it. Um, <clears throat> we have a series called the Onyx which is primarily only for wall mounting where the heat comes from the top. The biggest difference is the heater being built into the face. Uh, it comes with an IR remote here that you see here um, where you can control all the features and you can either hardwire this or plug it in. It is 110 volt um, and it comes with a six foot plug that comes out the right side. So when we first put the Sideline Elite and came up with the plan for putting the Elite together, we built it off a lot of things that we absolutely loved about the Sideline fireplace, but things that we wanted to add. So in some ways, we expand upon some of the things that are really great about the sideline. In some ways, we added some things that would make it really different. So on the sideline series, the base model, you're going to see that we've basically worked on three flame colors that are in there to make the most realistic flame possible. And what we've done with the Elite is we've added additional colors to that as well. So unlike a lot of the fireplaces you're going to see on the Amazon Marketplace or in other marketplaces, what we've done with this is we've made this a lot of colors, but it's not a dim color. Like when you get to like a blue color, it's not going to look like the light is really low. 
So that makes a big impact. So the, that's some of the stuff that we've tried to do. So by one of the feedback that we, the original feedbacks that we got from the original sideline was the flame display. And the flame display is now much bigger. So we reduced the size of the border on this to make a big difference with it. Um, so it still has the quality of the original sideline that we've had great success with. But on top of it, we now have been able to add the colors, make a bigger size, and add a lot of other really great features uh, like the light switch. So uh, do you want to go into more about the light switch and talk about how, that, where we, how we got to that point? Yeah, so we have a lot of customers that have asked us uh, with the sideline series if they can program it further than just using our IR remote. Uh, so with the Elite series, like I was explaining, you can hook it up and wire it to a light switch. Um, you can also use a Wi-Fi plug to operate it um, and control it um, with a third-party remote control. Um, so it's a little bit, little bit different board setup to, uh, to achieve this that, that you get with the Elite. So a lot of customers would ask, is it seems like a simple thing, but you'd want to be able to leave the house, turn off your fireplace. You have how many different flame colors on this? You have uh, six different flame colors that are creating all different types of flame um, displays. If you have the one that you like, you don't want to be have to go back in and go back to where you started from every right. time to turn the machine on. So what this is allows us to do, it seems simple, but it remembers what your flame setting was. So if you have a taste for some, you know, blue flame or a white flame or something like that, when you throw the light switch and you leave the room, it comes back in, you come back in and it's where it was before. So it's a simple little thing, but because of all the fireplaces that we've sold in the past, we have tons of feedback from people on how they, they want to set this up and what type of features that they want. And that was one that was right at the top of the list. That's right, yeah, smart rooms are really popular now, so. That's definitely something that uh, we thank our customers for, uh, giving us that feedback. We've also tried to work around bigger sizes with it. So having this bigger display matches up really well when you're trying to connect this and put it underneath the television. It works positively in a couple different ways. One is it's, it's grander. It's a much bigger size. So when you're working with a 65-inch TV, it's not going to be lost with a little flame underneath. The scope of the flame is going to be as big or to match this. So we originally started off with a 50, and then we also added a 60 and a 72-inch model that's available. We have a 42-inch model coming, but these were designed to fit the people that were building their own mantles and sitting them right under their TVs. It would match the scale of that. So it really makes for a big grand size. Um, the other piece that you'll see is the way that the heat comes out. The, the heat on it, uh, like our original sideline that we really liked, comes out the face of the unit like any flush mount model would be, but it comes out from the front. So that way you don't have to create as much space between the TV and the heater itself that's in the fireplace. Right, yep, that's a popular one. A lot of these that are getting installed, the TV is getting mounted right above it, like Frank was saying. Um, and you can see in all the images that our customers are posting. Another aspect of it is that uh, Evan had a big part in making the change to the crystals. So uh, we have our own crystal set on there that really makes it unique. So it combines a couple different sizes of the crystals in there so it doesn't just look like a bed of all these you know, similar rocks that are inside there. And when you add the special log pieces on top, it sort of takes it and makes the flame display a little less contemporary and makes it a little more, more relaxed with that. But the different crystals that are in there really give it a nice, a nice look. And you combine, combine it with all these bright flame displays, it makes for a nice look as well. Yeah, and we'll answer some questions at the end, but one popular question that we do get often is um, about the media options and where we include some, some really nice options with the full log set, the crystals in different sizes, and the driftwood. Some customers like to get creative and add their own glass, which you can do. Uh, we provide a crystal strip that sits over the LEDs and you're able to use whatever media you'd like. So if you have a uh, different colored crushed glass that you prefer, you can use it and you're still gonna get the, the flame effect right through. We even had somebody at a home show talk about using seashells inside of it. They had their house at the beach and they thought about putting that in there. And uh, as long as it's a solid piece that's just not going to fall down into, you know, that's, you can't put sand in there because that's going to drift all the way through. But the actual, you know, as long as it's a, it's a hard, hard particle that can go in there, 
in that type of shape, it, it will be able to support it. You'll be able to put it in there and get a nice glow from underneath of it. And um, for all the sizes, like I said, this is the 50 inch that we have on display here. Uh, uh, we'll be introducing the 42 inch. It's actually live now uh, and ready for purchase. And we have the 60 inch and 72 inch. They're all 19 and a quarter inches high. So they're all the same height that you see here. They just get either longer or shorter with whatever size you're looking for. Yeah, so that's what we've tried to do is we try to combine some of the benefits that we had in the sideline model that have been so popular and so well received. And uh, we've added to it based on customer feedback that we've gotten. And we've also been able to do some other fun things with it. So um, the other aspect of it is it does have heat. So all our fireplaces have heat, even though that's honestly the number one question we get on our uh, questions from customers is does it have heat? Now the heat that's inside of this is not going to take a room that's 50 degrees Fahrenheit and bring the temperature up to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not what this heater is for. This heater is a kind of take the edge off type of heater. That's right, yeah. Our sales staff will explain it as a supplemental heat source. It is just 110, so it is very nice. You can just plug it in or hardwire it to your lines. Uh, it draws at a max with the heat on 12 amps. Um, so some people will bump it up to a 20 amp line, but it's it's adequate at 15 amps, which is great. You know, most people can just plug it in. It's perfect. And, and it's perfect ready for to taking go. the edge off a room. So it's great for uh, a basement where you don't normally keep the temperature super high. It's going to have an immediate feel in the heat. So it, it's going to work a lot faster than if you turn the overall heating on. It will warm down that warm up that part of the room. Uh, it's not going to replace the heater in a room. But it takes the edge off. So it's going to take a room that maybe the temperature is at 65 degrees and it's going to put it up to 70, 71. Um, that's the type of heat that we're talking about. So it's a nice, direct, quick working type of heat, but it's it's not going to take a cellar that is running at 54 degrees and bring it up to, to 80 degrees. That's not going to happen. So it's really important that you understand that when you're uh, when you're looking at these is the type of heaters that go in them. And they are efficient. We do get asked that question quite a bit. Um, and depending on what your local rates are, um, our local rates, we've tested it, and it's about eight to ten cent. <clears throat> excuse me, eight to ten cents an hour on high, um, with the flames running. Since it's LED technology, it's next to nothing. Um, but at eight to ten cents, it's that's a lot less than um, alternatives like gas. Uh, so, so it is, uh, you know, a very good source that way. Another thing that you're going to see in the display of the Sideline Elite is that we take full advantage of the height of the display. So in a lot of lower price, low quality electric fireplaces, you're going to see where the flames just sort of maybe ride about three or four inches above where the bed is at, whether it's a log bed or a crystal bed. What you're going to see with the Elite is we really worked on maximizing and taking advantage of this full space that's on here. So a lot of work went into that. It's not something that just happened. We, we got feedback from customers and we realized if we're talking about this big a platform, this big a surface area, we want to take advantage of it. So by combining the bright flame with it and the larger size of this fireplace, you, uh, you get the full effect by uh, the work that we did as far as making this flame have the larger exposure. And I would say, too, one thing that we achieve with the Elite versus other electric fireplaces that you'll see, this one definitely looks more like a high-end gas fireplace, which a lot of people are looking for. Yeah, and most of our customers always thought that our regular sidelines looked like real fireplaces, but this takes it to another level with the, the grand size of the display and the quality that goes into it as far as, the, uh, as, far as the flame itself. It's something that Touchstone's always been known for, but this unit really does pick it up quite a bit to it takes it to a whole nother level all right you want to get into the uh, fury fireplace below? yeah sure sounds great all right great so the fury is our newest fireplace that we've introduced uh, it's a little bit different where you can wall mount it um, but it is really designed to be um, halfway installed into a wall like you see here um, so about four and a half inches are installed inside and you have um, kind of a 3D effect on the outside here. Um, it's a three-sided fireplace. And you'll see here that we have a mirror back panel that really helps with the 3D part of the flame. Um, and it gives the fireplace great depth. Um, we include, it's pictured here right now with white stone for the media. 
Uh, we also include crystal with it, so you can use either or. And it has a ton of color options. Uh, and you can see it cycling through, but it has nine color options for the flame and nine color options for the media bed. And um, yeah, you get some very vibrant colors in this one. And with the way the mirror, uh, the mirror effect is designed, it, it really gives it a unique flame that, that you don't see in many fireplaces at all. So when our producer Brian puts this together and you see the, when, when you'll be coming up on your screen, you're going to be able to see the coolest part of the function of this model is that the first, like the first time I saw it, when you see the sides of the fireplace, it, it's designed to partially go in the wall and sit outside the wall. So when you have it in an area in your home where you're able to see that side perspective of the fireplace itself, that's where, that's where that model really, really jumps out at you. Um, it's tough to see when you're looking at it straight on, but you have a couple other things happening. You have the, the reflection of the flame itself, which is a little bit different as far as the design goes. And then when you're in a grander room and you're looking at it from a different angle, you're gonna get a whole completely different effect by looking at it from the side. Um, so we'll be able to show you that when, uh, um, when, when you're looking at this video. Um, so that's a really big part of it, is being able to see that. That's what really sets this fireplace apart. When you're looking at it straight on, you get the additional new flame effect that we have on the bottom down here, but um, it's when you look at it from a whole room perspective, it gives a lot more depth and a lot more perspective to the actual fireplace itself. Yeah, this video will, will definitely not do the flame effect justice. Uh, like Frank was saying, with the, the mirror, you get a really cool 3D effect as you walk around. And it gives the media depth as well. So whether you have the crystal or the stone in, uh, it makes it look that much deeper with the back panel, the way it's displayed. And the way that uh, electric fireplaces work, we, we've gotten questions from people that are looking for fireplaces that they can actually uh, you know, pass through and they get some more depth from. And this mirror effect does that. It basically see, makes it feel like it's a lot deeper than what the actual depth of the fireplace is. So that's one of the cool effects of this model is that you can really get a much more deeper look. On top of the fact that it's sitting out farther on the wall, you know, it's definitely going to create just an obvious physical one that way, but that mirror effect really makes the flame unique. And just to go over a few of the uh, other features with the Fury fireplace, it comes with an IR remote like all of our other electric fireplaces. It does have a heating source. It comes actually from, from under here. Uh, which is great because then you can mount a TV pretty much right above the fireplace. You don't have to leave as much room because uh, you have this buffer area here. Um, and it'll heat up to a 400 square foot room similar to the rest of them. It's 110 volts. Um, so you'll just be plugging it into a standard outlet. It uh, has a thermostat on it so you can run the high and low heat setting or set the thermostat up to 86 degrees. And um, there's also what makes this a little bit different than the rest of our fireplaces, where this is a solid glass front here. This is actually open, um, which, which helps with the effect again with the mirror back panel. So you actually have access to it, uh, which is pretty neat. And this is definitely the type of fireplace that people are going to be able to be surprised by the fact that it's not actually hot. So because of the depth that you're getting from it and that you can actually reach in to where the crystals, where the rocks are on it, uh, into the display, um, it's, it's totally cool to the touch. The LED lighting isn't going to create any type of, type of uh, heat um, itself. The heat comes from the heating unit, which is up above, but none of it's any type of dangerous heat. And it's the same type of heater that we're talking about on the Sideline Elite. It's the type of heater that will take your regular ambient room temperature up uh, from chilly to cozy, um, but remember it's not going to replace uh, your broken down furnace. That's right. And uh, you can also, we did mention that it's partially recessed and you have some depth here that sticks out on the wall. Uh, this can also be wall mounted. So it does come with a wall mount bracket. You can mount it right on the wall. And a lot of times when people do that, you can build around it. You can build a, a bigger frame around it just to finish off the sides. But it is finished on the sides and can just simply be wall mounted if you don't have the ability to uh, recess it like you see here. And both of these models that you see, uh, both of these have really been a response to customer reaction that we get and customer questions that we get. Our people are on the phone all day long with customers. 
whether uh, they're also dealing with them online with our live chat. We're also dealing with uh, you know, uh, emails that come in for support. Uh, we really, pr really pride ourselves on our service. And as part of that, we able to, we're able to get a lot of feedback. Um, uh, the other thing that we have is that a lot of our customers, once they get our fireplaces, they love to share pictures with them. And not just pictures of it flush into a wall. They love to show pictures of it into mantles that they build out. So we see lots of pictures, multiple per week, where people have come in and they've created their own build out where a flat wall was before. They've created the fireplace underneath. They've put a man, a, a piece of wood for a mantle or some type of stone for mantle in between. And then they put their TV, TV above. And what's really great is a lot of them show us like before and after pictures, which are just awesome. Um, we get a lot of them these days. So, um, we get lots of feedback from customers as far as what they're looking for to make the whole experience more realistic and how they're using it. And uh, we reference those pictures constantly every day for people that are looking for insight on how they can do it. Because we have pictures from Sleep Nuts where they started from and when it was totally finished with the room all completed and they look great. Yeah, we truly, we, we do meet every week our different teams. Our sales staff meets every week, our service team. And everybody always comes in with, with Cool new notes and things that customers have shared so we really do take it to heart and um, might not be right away but over time we're able to to add it into new products and um, yeah they turn out uh, it's they turn out great and it's uh, thanks thanks to you guys you may run through some questions with you so you want to sure. try answering them yes feel comfortable answer them I feel good asking them all right okay. we'll, we'll see how we do all right question number one uh, can the TV be mounted safely above a fireplace? Yes, so this is probably one of the main questions that we answer on the phone and in emails. Um, in all of our fireplaces, a TV can be mounted above. When you're dealing with an electric fireplace and a heating source, uh, it's basically just a heating coil with forced air. Um, it's, it's not extreme heat. So in our wall-mounted fireplaces that you'll see, like the Onyx, we recommend a little bit larger space between 24 inches. In the Elite Series, where it's coming from the front, you only have to leave eight inches of space from the bottom of the TV to the top of the fireplace. And really even less in models like this with the Fury, where you have that extra space of the frame. Um, so it is definitely safe to mount your TV above and something a lot of customers are doing. Yep, all the time. You get lots of pictures of people mounting it that way. And it is a, the probably most common question, second most common question that we get besides does it have heat? Uh, can it be recessed into the wall? So as we talked about uh, at, at length, it can definitely be recessed in the wall. You want to be careful. Uh, you'll see some of our models like the Onyx fireplace and the ones that are specifically wall mounted. They are designed to be wall mounted because of where the heater is placed. Uh, but if it says recessed, wall mounted, inserted, um, this is the style we're referring to where it can actually be cut out and put into the wall safely. And we see that people are looking for recessed fireplaces now pretty much all year long. It used to be something where we sold electric fireplaces just when it got cold outside. But we do have a lot of contractors now that are doing um, either people doing their own contracting work or they're hired contractors. And we uh, work with them all, all year long because they're taking these and building them into walls, into flush mount situations where they're recessed into the wall. So it's, a re, it's, it's, it's our most popular application. Yeah, there's a lot of walls where contractors either can't cut into or their budget doesn't allow them to run. You know, gas lines can be five or $10,000. So with this, you're, whatever money you're putting into our fireplace and the exterior wall with the tone, uh, stone or tile, um, you know, you're, you're seeing it and a lot of times it's gonna be a fraction of the cost. So the next question we have is, what is the maximum uh, power draw? for the fireplace. Yeah, so it's uh, all of our fireplaces draw a max of 12 amps. So again, it can go on a 15 amp circuit. Some people, depending on the electronics that are going on the wall uh, on that circuit, will bump it up to a 20 amp, um, but that's, yeah, that's plenty adequate. So based on why we're talking about power, the next rolls into our next question. Um, what side is the cord located on and how long is it, the power cord? Right, so this is another popular question. Um, on basically all of our fireplaces, if you're facing the unit, it's on the right lower side. So it'd be right, right down here in this section. It's a six foot cord, so it gives you plenty of length to run it to, uh, to your outlet. And our recessed models, like the Sideline and like the Fury, can also be hardwired, uh, which is helpful depending on your local codes. 
So staying under the whole electric umbrella here as far as questions go, uh, can this unit be installed outdoors? Okay, so we get this question an awful lot. Um, a lot of people are putting these in uh, three season rooms, porches, and as long as there's not a lot of moisture, uh, these will hold up fine. Uh, they just can't be in direct line with, with weather and rain. Um, but they have held up extremely well in those three season rooms. Just keep in mind if you have uh, windows open, doors open, you're not going to benefit from the heat as much like we were talking about. It's a supplemental heater, um, but you know, as far as looks go, it'll hold up just fine. And we'll have Brian drop in um, uh, to show you now uh, the picture of our, actually ex our exclusive outdoor fireplace. Uh, that does come with a ground fall plug, um, which is was originally designed for outdoor placement. The thing to keep in mind with that is that it doesn't have heat. Um, with an electric fireplace, uh, when you're outdoors, uh, turning the heat on an electric fireplace is is basically um, useless. You know, it's just it's not not going to work any do anything for yeah. you. We didn't even want that one to be misleading, so yeah, we, we thought so it was no be heat better in that model. But we do have the sideline outdoor, which is available. Um, does this unit work with Google or Alexa? So yes, as we were talking about before, it's becoming very popular, these smart homes. Um, this uh, doesn't work directly with Google Home or Alexa. You do need a smart Wi-Fi plug, but uh, it does work through that, um, and you can pair it to your third-party remotes that way. So all it's gonna do with an Alexa or a Google connection is just turn on and off. That's uh, right. But because of the, the, special, the feature that we build into it, uh, that works with the power switches, remember it's going to maintain where you uh, had your last flame setting at. So it does a little bit more than just turn on and off. It does have some memory in it that this uh, the Sideline Elite does work with. And that's only for the Elite here on top. So that's for the Elite 42, 50, 60, and 72 models. That's the only fireplace that has that feature. And we are working right now on adding some additional Alexa features to the Elite product that is a little bit down the road, but we'll have that soon for all you Amazon Alexa people that probably most all of you that are watching this. Uh, when will a 42 inch uh, version of the Elite be available? So uh, we'll have this in the middle of December. I think we're shooting for December 15th. So we're about a month away from the time we're shooting this video. Uh, are the fireplaces noisy? So we get this question a lot. They are almost silent with just the lights on, just the LED lights. There's just a small motor that turns. Um, and with the heat on, there's just a small noise. When you activate the heat, there's a blower fan that also activates and pushes the heat out into the room. It is still very quiet. Uh, our focus was to get it as quiet as possible. We know that people a lot of times are watching a TV in the same room. Um, so when they are working properly, uh, there should be little noise with them. Um, does, do the fireplaces have a safety shutoff feature? So yes, um, our fireplaces, we really don't have a lot of service issues or quality products, but uh, in the case where um, the blower is not working properly and the unit itself is overheating, if it reaches a certain temperature, it will shut off. Great. Um, are the fireplaces uh, energy efficient? Yeah, so I, I believe I mentioned it before, but um, it's all LED light technology for the flame, so it's, it's next to nothing to run. It's pennies uh, running the flame effect. And when you run the heat, um, we have a low setting at 750 watts and a high setting at 1500 watts. Uh, with it on high, it's about eight to 10 cents an hour. Um, and that's, that's locally here, but it's gonna be similar, uh, just depending on your rates. Okay. So uh, I know we covered some of this uh, before, but do you just want to touch on again how the Elite is different from our regular Sideline series? Right. So uh, the biggest thing when you're looking at it is going to be this slim border design. Um, that, that over the years was just something that a lot of designers and home builders were, were asking for. Um, so we delivered with that. Uh, then the color options, I'd have to say, would be second. Um, you have the 10 media option colors that run separate from the flame colors. So again, you can actually uh, cycle through the, the flame colors, and uh, they're a bit different. Um, and then the uh, speed of the flame, so you actually can control the, uh, 
speed of the flame there. The speed of the flame is actually one of the other issues that we've gotten great feedback on that actually led to the, one of the this being designed into it. Because it does make a big difference when you have that change of speed in your flame. Um, you got to remember how these fireplaces show their display. So when it's, it, it lets you create a softer or more raging fire uh, by changing those speeds. It really is pretty impactful when you have an electric fireplace, the ability to control that motor speed. And one thing I forgot to show you, I'd like to show you here, you can also control it, you have your IR remote, but you do also have a control panel here uh, to control um, your flames and the uh, media options. Um, so we have that there. Um, and then as, as we were saying, uh, one other difference, one of the other big differences between the Sideline Elite and just our regular Sideline series is the board um, and being able to program it to a switch or through a Wi-Fi plug um, so you can turn it on and off. Uh, the other difference is the amount of colors that are available for the flame and for the hearth itself. Uh, as we had mentioned earlier, the original Sideline unit that are so popular right now really modified the flame on that to make the most realistic real flame look come out of it. This takes a little bit of a step forward in that it has more colors, but it does maintain the intensity of that flame. So when you take a look at the flame that's on here in this video and you compare it to other, other products flame, um, you're gonna see the multiple colors, but they're all pretty intense. We don't give up anything as far as the light intensity. And uh, also, as we talked about, the size of the flame and its ability to take up that whole screen so you get the full flame effect. So that's a big difference between the two of them. So uh, not to downplay too much of what the Sideline original one does, it really has an awesome flame that was really designed to make it look like the most realistic flame that you can get. Um, we just didn't feel the need to create green flames with it or, or you know, any other type of uh, odd white flames or anything. Um, where this one gives you that step up where you get the flame intensity that you're looking for. And if you wanna have a white flame on your fireplace or a green flame, um, it goes with your green room. Um, Eagle's green? Yeah, any type, any type of green or any of those special colors, you have that available. Um, so it sort of ups the game as far as what the flame quality is. And we really feel like compared to other items that are on the Amazon platform, there's not a, another fireplace that has this quality, irregardless of what uh, price point that you're going to be shopping at. All right. Okay. So that's all the questions that I have. All right. Great. Well, if you have any other feedback or questions for us, we'd, we'd love to hear from you. Um, so feel free to reach out to us. And... Um, Thanks for watching. Yeah, and don't forget, once you get your Sideline Elite fireplace, please, or your Fury fireplace, send us pictures, uh, post a video, post pictures on Amazon. Um, if you take a look at all our fireplaces, you'll be able to see where customers have done that already. It can be great for you to take a look at and see, okay, some ideas of how you could use this. Maybe you had a concept of how you wanted to be in your bedroom or your living room, how you wanted to have it replace where your mantle is now, or you wanted to build a fake mantle. Take a look at those, they're great resources to have to be able to see what other people have done. And the videos on them, some of the detail on them are just incredible. So take advantage of those resources. Don't only really look at this video, but you also have a chance to take a look at other videos that are tied to the actual product page, because there's a lot of resources there. Uh, you'll also be able to get a lot out of the Q and A's that get asked for them, because you'll be able to see a lot of these common questions that we have asked, but you'll be able to see some more obscure ones asked as well. And our team does a really good job trying to answer those and stay on top of them, as well as the Amazon community of, uh, of people that have already bought the fireplaces do a good job of chiming in on that. Mm -hmm. So that's it for us today. Thanks for uh, watching us. And remember, we're always here. So if you have any questions, you can just drop us a contact through Amazon and ask us questions. And uh, have anything else? I think that's it. All right. Thanks, everybody. All right. Thanks.